The developer of the game, called Kingdom Come Deliverance, had been bullied on social media by a BuzzFeed feminist. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Before we start the video, I have a few announcements that I first want to state. If you guys are subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the bell to get notified of my latest videos. Also, if you guys want to translate my videos into different languages, be sure to click the toolbar, then add subtitles to translate the transcribe into other languages. Developer Daniel Vabra was invited to go to Spain to an event called Game Lab. However, he was bullied into silence by a BuzzFeed feminist from Spain. Yes, you heard me correctly. BuzzFeed actually exists in Spain. And to give you guys an idea about the videos they produce for BuzzFeed Spain, here are some of the titles I translated for you guys. They called us feminazis since 1906. I'm pretty sure that the word Nazi did not exist in 1906. Ursula is the Disney princess we should imitate. So people should be a fat ass and just imitate that in real life? Five things all guys say at discussions about feminism. And finally, friends, virginity is a lie. Uh, no it's not. Uh, just no, it's not a lie. Also, how dare you misgender me by calling me an amiga, not an amigo. The account that went after the developer went by the username Azul Corosivo. Prior to her interaction with Daniel, she had a tweet that says, we already have uniform at BuzzFeed Lola. And underneath the text, the shirts say that men are trash. So yeah, she's a very uh, nice and uh, decent person towards men. Here are the tweets that are translated from Spanish to English. Daniel Valva, director of Kingdom Come Deliverance and an openly racist, male chauvinist, and defender of Gamergate, have been invited at Game Lab for some reason that I cannot understand. It's the most diverse Game Lab in history, but have invited a Nazi. But there's women! You didn't want this? Well, we don't want Nazis either. It's that you're not content with anything! And of course, Daniel responded with this. I have a Jewish heritage. My grandfather escaped Nazi forest labor camp. Most of my partner's family died in a concentration camp. And you call me a Nazi? Quite a bold statement. Because of that interaction with that BuzzFeed feminist, Daniel decided to leave the event entirely. I am sorry to inform that Daniel Vava has canceled his talk at Game Lab 2018 after receiving serious insults through social networks. We respect his decision, but we are sorry to miss his interesting insights about the development of one of the best European games this year. So there you have it folks, literally a BuzzFeed feminist bully a developer to not go to a gaming event because she thought he was a Nazi for some reason. Look, I understand that people have different points of views when it comes down to politics and political things. That said, I don't think it's okay for anybody in the world to bully someone just because they have a different point of view and call them Nazi when it's convenient. By calling people who are not a Nazi a Nazi, you guys are watering down the term every single time you guys misuse it. I really hope that more developers will not put up with this crap. However, knowing that people are extremists sometimes, they'll probably do it again and again and again. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.